Hello, uh, this is part two of our uh, course and uh, about rigid bodies. Uh, so let's go in and start creating some interesting stuff. So let's bring back our plane as our ground or scale it up and go to the rigid body uh, tab. So sorry, physics tab and give it a rigid body. Remember, we should have it as a type passive so that it doesn't move, uh, but still uh, react uh, with other rigid body objects. Let me scale it up a bit, maybe put it above uh, the grid. Now let's create a cube here and we are going to duplicate these around so that we have a tower of uh, cubes that are rigid bodies so if I move this I just want it to be exactly at the bottom here go to the physics tab rigid body if I play back it's not moving uh, because it's right on the ground I will duplicate this and uh, just like that now play back and see because I've duplicated this from this and uh, this had a rigid body system uh, the duplicate will also have a rigid body object uh, system so duplicate this so remember we want a tower so I'll just if you use if you duplicate and then use the shortcut shift R you can have you can duplicate this more and more so shift R will create another duplicate now if we play back see we have our tower but uh, this is not that interesting let's make a more interesting tower uh, if you have played Age of Empires before, you can, I can uh, maybe guess the kind of tower I'm trying to make here. So it's just, it's, let's start by adding a circle. Uh, we can use maybe 16, we can use maybe 16 vertices, a skeleton up to something like this. And uh, if we add a cube, I scale it up, I scale it in the way uh, so that it looks like a, like a brick, something like this. Uh, bring this up a bit. Have something like that. So if you parent uh, this brick uh, to, uh, to our circle, Ctrl P, and then select the circle and go to the display properties, and under instancing and uh, click vertices you can see duplicates of of this brick on each of created for each instance or for each vertex in our in our uh, of our circle and if i move this you can see the corresponding duplicate will also move now if i want these to be on top of each of these uh, what says you just have to move this in the center or to the same position of our circle so if i hold down shift s cursor to select it and then i can move my cursor to the selected object and then select the brick shift s selection to cursor so that i can move uh, that to the middle of uh, my circle but uh, the bricks are not oriented to the direction i want so i can select the circle and turn on a line towards uh, normals so you may need to play around with this, maybe even scale this up, scale this. So if you hold on Control A and then apply scale, you get the right orientation. Uh, so our brick is a bit too too large for us, and so I can scale it down a bit until we get the right spacing. Remember, we are trying to create a tower. So let me bring this up a bit so that it's not going through. So that's that's the first lay out oh, layout. I, I don't know how to call it. It's the first uh, row of bricks. I just call it a row of bricks. Now to make another line of bricks, I'll just duplicate this so that we have more vertices. Remember, we have <coughs> for each vertex in our circle, uh, because we have instancing by vertices, uh, we can we have a duplicate all of our bricks. So if I duplicate this even further can see or oh, extrude I'll get more bricks so just need to control L to select the entire string then shift D to duplicate this uh, so that we have another instance of bricks but uh, this time around I want them to be rotated in the Z axis so that we have something like that see now I can go on do this forever this over and over but uh, I can also just 
go to the R go to the modifiers and add an array modifier uh, instead of the x axis i want uh, the y axis sorry the z axis and I increase the offset just a bit now i can increase this to however i want you can see we have our tower now if i want i can scale this down to be smaller or wider something like that let me just increase this just a bit now if i play back nothing really happens uh, because these are just instances and they don't have a rigid body system so they are not reacting uh, to uh, physics just yet so what we can do to make this react we need to first apply the array and uh, also we need these objects to be individual objects or individual bricks so that they can behave like individual bricks so to do that we need to apply uh, these instances because right now these are not real objects and you can see in the collection we only see uh, the plane the circle and uh, because uh, the brick the original brick is a child of uh, the circle is under these the circle so we have the brick the circle and the plane so we need these duplicates to also be real objects uh, that way they can be listed here and uh, all of them uh, can now be up so that they can also be applied be given a rigid body system so for that you can go under object and find apply then you, what you want to to look for is make instances uh, real so if you click this it will make all your objects all your your instances objects real objects so uh, we are applying uh, the, the the rotation is changing here so let's try applying the scale and then the rotation as well and uh, let's see we might have a few it so let's first try removing this okay so the rotation here is becoming a bit of a problem but that's okay i i think that's the reason for that is that uh, uh these are not connected in any way so if i select this loop and this loop you can try bridging them now you can see that fixes uh, that orientation issue so if i do this here bridge you can see how it's fixing uh, the rotation of these bricks so what i'm going to do is just redo the the array part so just first delete that and since we have the right rotation here i can bring back my array uh, this line of break is not uh, coming up very clearly so just going to let's see select this extrude then rotate rotate those that loops so that we have something like that then now I can apply the array again yeah apply then object apply make instances real and now you can see uh, we have yeah exactly what we want uh, let's check if we have a so none of them have a rigid body system so to give them a rigid body system uh, we can select all the bricks so I'm high I've hidden uh, the plane or ground uh, so that we don't select it as well so select everything box select everything and then go to object you can also access uh, this option rigid body option under object rigid body uh, the difference is that uh, if you access the rigid body system from here you can apply the rigid body system to all the selected objects which you can't do uh, by just pressing this button so object rigid body uh, we want to give them a type of active so just click on active and uh, each one of these will be given 
a type of active so let me just unhide this play back you can see we have the tower falling apart uh, i think the reason for that is that uh, this plane also has a rigid body so i will remove that and uh, we don't even need it anymore so i'll just delete that let's go back and see now uh, the tower just falls uh, down so those are the basics you can see in the i guess we'll be looking at this in um, other videos but uh, let me just show you how we, we can even make this more interesting so if i add maybe a susan monkey head scale it up give it a rigid body but the type should be passive and uh, if we play back uh, because the type is set to passive it will be immovable Me moving it won't move but uh, we can animate this using keyframes and uh, have it react uh, to the rigid body system to other rigid body objects so if i move this forward i like this play you can see what we get yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video